Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Center, folks. We are here once again, and we are going to the moon this time, and it is going to be successful. Okay, we're going to the moon. It will be successful. We will do it. For those who aren't used to Kerbal Space Program in this solar system, Kerbin is the planet we're on, and the moon is the moon. Kerbals are weird. I'm here with Bobby, Lisa, and Bryce, and we're about to go on a moon mission, and probably gonna go wrong isn't it and you've already made several phallic references to the diana explorer and whatever no hate okay i get it oh jeb's on board this is gonna jeb be is on board one. and bill Just don't let and jeb die. valentina that's not gonna happen well it's bill so bill and we jeb are set for this um we're set for everything correctly you I last time i checked it um uh, orbital altitude is set correctly is everybody wearing protection? Yeah. Oh yes. my god, we're going to this road already. Okay, so it's going to get noisy yes. for a few minutes, so please bear with me. It is going to get very noisy whilst lots of engine go boom and Delta V turns into space. Would you like anyway. me to do sound effects? Um, <laughs> you know what? We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, now you can knock it off. If people, in case people are curious, they're watching this live, so. They're going to be commenting on exactly what they see. Anyway, let's go to the moon. Where are the sound effects? As you can see that the rocket is flying. <laughs> you will not be heard over the volume of the rocket. Oh, wait, they're doing ASMR now? Right, <laughs> no. Rocket ASMR does not work because lots of fuel is turning into lots of gold places. Yes, but I like when your very phallic shaped object goes in the air. <laughs> So it's currently expanding its load at a massive rate. Oh no! Oh, God damn it! That's where we're going. I don't know what I put up with this for, but hey. Now you can we'll see why she wants to leave the fucking are, planet. Are we sure that's the <laughs> same? Uh, let's give it a second until the SRVs come off, otherwise it'll be really hard to hear people because the SRVs make a lot of noise. You can see from there. Noise. Like that, but that's how all my missiles start. If it burns that much, you should see a doctor. <laughs> I did. They told me to come back later. <laughs> Throttle back for. I uh, think that was part of the problem. Max Q. Oh no. We're about to go separation on the stages. Not the, sorry, the SRBs. How many stages is this one? Two, uh, three, technically. We have stage separation. Or a left cross. Bye. Through max Q, so it's throttle up time. Let's go. Passing through 25,000 meters. Looking good. Jeb appears to be loving this shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not the only one who's hot and bothered. Wow, okay. It's gonna be one of those missions, I can see. <laughs> I, I thought that's why I was brought here. Don't it worry, is. I'll just be the third party watching. Just wait until they can hear you, because right now, all that is making lots of boo. Same. Yes. Okay, so we're ascending nicely now. Stage cutoff, stage separation, second engine start. And now it's quieter and you can hear what the hell's going on. I don't know if that's a reward or a punishment. Yeah, I don't think that's a good thing. No. <laughs> that, that is a bad thing, thing yes. That is a bad thing, I'm pretty sure. I mean, did what you forget that? who's in here with you? I, I did, to an extent, yeah. I clearly <laughs> made a massive mistake. That's not the only thing that's me. massive. Oh, Oof. God. Not anymore. It's a lot smaller not... now, see? It's a <laughs> rocket now. Yeah. It's definitely, it's uh... Decreased it, it, in girth. It's let out its load. 
Oh no! Uh, this is essentially what's going to go to the mun, okay? Um, we're still climbing here. We need to make sure we're missing the space caravan and we climb before we get to the International Space Winnebago. Oh! Is anybody on board? Uh, yes, the scientist currently on board that one. It's called Fuel Barge Ship on the map because that's the last module added to it. So, you're, when are you going to add a module just to change the name to something snazzier? Soon. Technically, I thought it would change its name to Command Module, which was what was added last with the cupola, but hey. Okay, so we're passing through 60,000. Our perhaps is climbing nicely. And when that shifts over there, it's probably going to basically go into coast mode for a while as we actually oh. circularize now. They're going space then. So we are, once this heads over about 60, we are technically in an orbit and we're going to go into coast now, which means the engine's going to throttle down. And it will throttle down until we get to close to the apoapsis. And it's going to auto warp us there once it decides it wants to go a little faster. Oh, it's wobbling. I don't yeah. think that's oh, good. That's I think it. Gyro. It's well, gimbling. He needs to see a doctor. <laughs> I don't think uh, it's like a little fish. Or a hemorrhoid. Wait, did you just say or a hemorrhoid? What? Oh. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, it is the rocket's butt. <laughs> it is. We have fairing separation. We have solar panel deployment. We're good. Here's me trying to be serious, and they're all making as many new windows as they can physically find. As we're still in. Okay, so. Enable RCS. So you can maneuver correctly. Once this gets into its position, then we'll be letting it warp round. So who's going to be with the first? first man on the moon. The, a woman, obviously. Valentina. Valentina. Correct. Yes, correct. What? Okay, so stabilizing on target trajectory. Now Wasn't it's going to warp us around. Wasn't she involved in a hardcore rescue mission previously? She was, yes. And she rescued them from an accidental moon landing when we tried to land on the the, the engine there was a test because run. it felt like a good idea at the time. Yeah, no, the, one of the previous missions, we went up for a Apollo 8 style lunar flyby. We were just going to fly around it, orbit it, and then come home. It was going to be great. But for some reason, I thought, you know what, we'll just try going down and we'll maybe sit it down on the actual the nozzle of the rocket. The actual. Well, that's not amazing. A good idea. The, the How nice broke. of you to demonstrate what would have yeah. happened if Lovell could not have contained himself. Exactly. Okay, I love so this alt history. Repositioning now for a quick burn, but I'm pretty sure we are good. So you know what? We're going to cancel this node, and autopilot is disabled. So we're now going to go. So you can go the hell away. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we want to do a maneuver planner, and we are going to plan for once I go to here. Go. She's planning for maneuvering. So there is an important question here. Yes. Is this full of chicken nuggets or no? Uh, sure, yes. That orange part of the lander? Chicken nuggets. Entirely chicken oh. nuggets. Yes, thank God. Where's the barbecue sauce? Wait, there? you're not talking about that weird part that's doing like that wiggle thing at the end, are you? <laughs> Where do you think they come out? Come on. Yeah, you can't deep fry things in space, but they do that have alternative methods. Okay, that thing reminds me of that stupid sweeper off the Teletubbies. <laughs> like, it really what? does. That little the suction engine. thing at the end, yes. You're weird. <laughs> I'm just true. saying. She's not wrong. I hate you all. No, you don't. Yeah, it's a bad Why won't this one retract? Go back in. Re. Oh, oh no, no we're... We're trying to force it's been more than back four in. hours, so they should probably consult their doctor. <laughs> Most likely, yes. <laughs> so we're going to do an orbit or two to get things lined up. The first version of the Diner Explorer had the lander here, basically. Um, in the middle? The actual command module was further forward because, like Apollo, we would separate the command module away from the stack, flip around, hook up to the uh, lander module, and then we'd, we'd go. Um, as we start our lunar insertion burn. That's gonna, this is the trajectory we're going to take as soon as it starts to move outwards, but this is the route we'll take. Um, 
it, it was complicated and annoying and it added an extra step which I sucked at so we, we decided to skip that and because the only reason Apollo did it that way was so the capsule was on top so they could use the launch abort tower to get the capsule away from the rocket if anything went wrong and save their lives this is Kerbal Space Program I don't give a crap about their lives I wasn't oh. going to say it, but, you know, I the thought it was pretty obvious. Yeah, so it's just more Wait. functional this way. I thought I was still on the engineering bay. Oh, I'm right. on board! That's right. You're on board, yeah. You're in here. That's Valentina. This is technically Jeb in the middle seat, hey, and that is you, Bobby. That is uh, Bill Kerman. Oh my god, the receding hairline, just like my own. <laughs> the uneven receding hairline. The thousand-yard stare. So who reminds yes. you of who, then? You know, if you had to pick somebody to be each person. Jeb can be you, Bryce, because you're just timeless. Uh, <laughs> Bill is Wait, clearly... Bryce Bill is the engineer is, Yes. Bill is clearly Bobby, and Valentino is clearly Lisa. So wait, what's that supposed to mean? Whatever you know. want it to mean. Is it a compliment? I like it. <laughs> I want to be a strong Kerbal lady. Trailing insertion orbit is set. So we are good to go. Oh, she Don't care about insertion. this maneuver. So we're gonna go stability assist, prograde. Amount of propellant's looking good. It feels about fifty about forty percent or so, which is fine. So we are on our Yeah. Don just set. teach you to so far. Well this is the bit I can get right. Getting there is easy. Flying around is easy, landing is the bit I've not mastered yet. Wow. No, stop. I don't think that's supposed to wiggle like that. Yeah, it does occasionally, it's fine. So, because obviously this is going to take a long ass time, like if we were actually going to stay here a day and a half, we're going to use this magical function called... Yeah, let's go faster. Rachel, we have another guest. We do? Who's the guest? Oh, it's Roy! <laughs> Hello, Roy. And someone just dropped a pan or something. Precious Roy, precious Roy. <laughs> Can we take a cat up into space? I mean, we we never. dogs. Yes. I don't okay, like so we're that. On final approach now to Moon Intercept. Once we get close enough, aka here, the encounter, our influence from orbit will no longer belong to Kerbin. Because right now we're on a Kerbin orbit, which has been like this, a huge elliptical orbit. Once we get close enough to the gravity of the Moon, we'll get an intercept that will take, will basically attract us to the Moon. So you'll see once we get a little closer here. That's hot. Just a little bit <laughs> further now. Uh, why do I somehow think your mics are going to end up being louder than mine in this? Which could be really awkward. Do you um, just want me to replace all my commentary with my cat on the mic? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, Roy, Absolutely. it's your time to shine, baby. Okay, so we have our Go encounter. Go get him, girlfriend. We have our encounter. We need to now be radio out. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, too. <laughs> Roy is apparently making sweet cat love to the microphone. He loves it. It's his friend. Okay, sweet. we're in position here. Mm -hmm. So talk about cat scratch fever. Literally. <laughs> Let's get this encounter right. Okay, it's a bit high. We're good. Now you're gonna make me go find my cat. Oh no. We just need to have an entire video where the commentary is just cat. <laughs> I'd watch that. Okay, so we're flipping around to go retrograde now, so backwards. That's a lot of RCS nodes. That's a lot of Rs. I'm pretty sure that's not how it looks from my end. Wait, let me go check. That's that's more holes than mine's yet. To be fair, when they did the Apollo missions. <laughs> Not this much of the rocket came with them. I'm just basically using the no. fuel in it. I mean, you might as well. You don't have to. Yeah. Okay, so we're closer now to target positions. Many position, different factors so... at that point. Just a little closer now. Okay, so we're in position. So let's make sure we line up again for retrograde burn. And when we burn this time, this is going to come round and circle us. So. Bringing that influence back in. Yep. In the orbit. There you go, baby. Woohoo! We're gonna land. Steady. Steady, baddie. Now, is the goal to land in one piece or. 
Yes. Are we okay to be in pieces? No, one piece. That is the, the general goal. So we're at 19,000, we can go a bit further. Okay, 9,000, that's perfect. So our landing is gonna happen roughly around here. So, now it is time to say thank you very much for your uh, your flight service here. Um, basically, lunar insertion module. We're gonna go bye-bye. Roy, are we gonna go bye-bye? We're gonna go bye-bye. Yes. So, thank you very much, Engine. You've been great. So he's doing you. his impersonation of an engine. He's helping. Wait, why is that the command bit? No, control from here. Uh oh. Why am I looking at this bit? Oh, camera aimed over there. Okay, that's fine. So, okay, control from uh, aim camera here. Okay, so we're good to go now. We have our lights on in the cockpit. And we're in orbit around the moon. Finally, we are here. We're orbiting. So our, our periapsis, the lowest point, is going to be on the light side. So, F5 to quick save because this is what I keep forgetting to do. Does the game account for the through. differences? Um, like, yes. for depending on what side of the moon you're going to land on? Relatively, yes. So I know we've taken into account the trip there. Have we thought about the trip back yet? Of course you have. It's Rachel. No. <laughs> oh god, what's happening? I'm sure it's fine. Don't worry guys, the worst case scenario we're in the vacuum of space. I'm gonna be like, uh... I'm gonna do all the math that brings all these fine Kermans home. Well, I'm looking forward to it because we're about to come around to the light side and separate off for our descent. Well, here's the light side current interview. I guess I'll use my timelessness to make a base. I don't know. So, time to separate the descent module. Is anybody staying in orbit? We're all three going. Uh, two. Jeb is staying. Oh. How dare you deny Jeb? Uh, how do I separate this bloody thing off? <laughs> Press the button. Oh. This is this what I want to do? Is it maybe the disable staging for the port? I'm trying to work it out because I did something weird and. We are control from here. We are in, yeah, time warp one. I think I've got them too close together, but there is a way to get it to do it. Um, I need to find the right node. That's the one. Oh God. Bad things are happening. This seems fine. <laughs> Don't worry, only one person will die. Problems, problems. Oh god, it's Apollo. There we go. That was kind of separation. Close enough, right? I think we just witnessed some separation anxiety. We did. So. Okay, so that's gonna keep going off on its. Oh! On its path? My cat's extremely happy with that. Should be fine. He, okay, so that's he is nuzzling off very hard bit. right now. Excellent. Uh, I need to quickly switch back to this because uh, Jeb is in control and I need to make sure we are And don't fuck stable. it up. I'll try not to crash. Yeah, this I'm is all on you, Bryce, okay? I, I, I'm timeless for a reason. Uh, you think I'd have some kind of knowledge on this. Yes, so we're going to go radial out. Hey, what's this big red button do? It makes you fly faster. It totally doesn't make you crash. <laughs> okay, oh, so that okay. is going to go. That's going to put retrograde, and we are now going to... Once this is set... Switch back to the lander, which is now our ship. So I'm making my way down Engine. We're doing this manually so I can do it in more than the way it wanted it to do. Uh, we're going to deploy the gear. Point retrograde. Ooh. We're 
going down. It's happening! This is pretty hilly territory, so... Yeah, you're gonna want to go pretty far. Working on How it. close are you to your destination? We're pretty high up. I need to kind of get the periapsis down so we actually come down to rough area here. Well, you've got plenty of time. Let's see what we're looking at. So we're gonna come down most likely about there. So, we need to burn a little bit longer. Plenty of fuel. This version's uh, Sea of Tranquility. Yep, it's pretty close. Probably gonna end up somewhere in this region here. So, from on board, this is the view from the lander module. Okay, so. Currently retrograde still. Our trajectory's gonna take us down. Yeah, like I said, basically inside this crater up ahead. So this one just above us. Um, although we're looking like we might come down a little bit sooner. Our speed for descent is good. Let's get the landing lights on. Okay. It seems like a good general area to hit, so. Well, we'll find out. I'm probably gonna come down more like here, so. I want to well, cross up, so I'm coming down more here because I'd rather not be in on that slope there. Mm -mm. You're okay, aiming for good. past that crater, right? No, I'm aiming for here. Oh. Because I don't want to go on there, which is where I was probably going to land. So our that velocity's ridge. looking good. Our descent profile's looking good now. We're definitely coming in a lot slower this time, which is the plan. Landing burn is good. Moral support. We're on slowdown. Coming down good. Do we have successful yep. moon landing? You're looking good. I think you might make it. We're a bit slow this time, actually. Let's let it build some speed up as we come down. People we don't want to say that a lot about me. Hover, because that's a problem. Fuel's looking fantastic as well. I built a slightly sturdier lander than last time. So is this one going to roll over our Kerbals? No, that is okay. not the intent for this mission. Okay. Which is why I'm bringing my descent down nice and slow. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going back to Kerbin alone. I, I don't like going places alone. No, that's so hopefully not going to happen. Every okay, failed landing is a new rescue mission to be had. Okay, we're good on descent. Altitude is 20 meters. Yes, girl! You got this! 10 out of 10! The eagle has landed. Oh, yeah. We managed not to kill us, thank goodness. <laughs> we did. Wait, 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 what's what's going to be the first words? I, I, I don't know. This is an That's up to landing. Rachel. That's up to Rachel. No one, no one steal it from Rachel. We are in completely new and unexplored territory here. So let's get everything set up that we need to do. Um... We are safely on the lunar surface, so let's get the antenna up to call home. We've got the ship to ship one and the ship to Kerbin, which is clipping through it, of course. That is fantastic. Thank you, Kerbal Space Program. Um, Zero dynamic. Valentina, are you step outside the capsule? She falls down, and her first words are oof. <laughs> this might be the fifth time we've done it, but... Turns out this ladder really isn't as long as I thought it was. That's what she said. Oof. Hey! Oof. No! <laughs> hey! That was the first words on the surface of the moon with our intentional landing. Uh, Oops. Valentina, <laughs> plant a flag. Fuck yeah. She is loving this shit. Oh yeah, what are we going to say on the flag? We need to write what's on the flag. So, site name is uh, totally the intended landing site. Plaque text will state, at this point, Kerbals realized we can succeed at some things. Thank God for revert flight. <laughs> Your words never been spoken. Valentina was here. <laughs> <laughs> In the dirt, just Valentina was here. 
I love this. This is just a great shot. Got the lander in the so background, good. and we've actually managed to you do it. it. I did it. The Kerbex flag is there it, on lady. the surface of the mun, and Vanti looks so pleased with herself. Now this is where the raining on the parade should happen. As no, it, no, no. I'm just saying, as the one in orbit comes crashing down, because I've done something completely and utterly yes, stupid. Yes, that would be totally <laughs> correct. <laughs> so we're gonna. Whee! Like, that's the only thing that makes sense now. This is totally Lisa. She would just dance around in the sky. <laughs> Whee! My first words on the moon would be, Whee! <laughs> this is where I park uh, my car. <laughs> I need my car Whee! alarm. I can't find it. Dude, where's my car? Okay, we need Actually, I feel like your first words would be, Where's my cat? <laughs> I would have brought my cat Take with surface me. sample, oh, we'll do that, is. even though we're playing in kind of sandbox mode rather than otherwise. Um, I would bring my son with me. We'll do our science that we would have done normally. I should be doing this in my other mode and I will eventually. But I just want to know that I've actually been able to do it. In this case, I have. So, we've planted our flag. Um, I, I kind of fancy doing some exp exploration. Um, this has kind of been amazing. I actually got here fully intentionally. You made it look really easy. I did not make it look easy. This was yeah, you did. hard as hell. I've played Kerbal before. You made briefly. it look easy. Uh, Listen, I can't even get off the ground without it looking like a missile. So yeah, you made it look easy. <laughs> and I, have an intent I actually have a ladder for this capsule as well. So it's almost like we plan to go down here. So we're bored here for a second. It's time to start opening up the bays uh, for the science equipment. So open doors. Science rules. Let's, let's run an atmospheric analysis. Can't be done because there isn't one. Um, there's Mech Jeb squished into the corner. Our mystery goo. Oh, why? No science because, you know, it's sandbox mode, but at the same time, I'm going to do it because I would have done. Yes, we want that, and we want that. How do you feel about this great advancement in Kerbal life, Roy? I feel like for once the idiots have succeeded and this will be a successful mission. Uh, oh god. Uh, eh. oh, oh, cock, oh, cock, oh, cock, oh, cock, oh, cock. And um, this is where things go wrong. I thought Bye, I put guys. solar panels on this. <laughs> I thought I put solar panels on this. I'm pretty uh -oh. positive I did. And it might have been an uh oh. Um, uh, is this one of those so, old cock sauce moments that you tend to have? This all is the one time? of those. This is a surprise yeah, yes. rescue mission now. So uh, is this one of those situations where it's like, okay, we need to take off now, kind of things? Bye. I'm just gonna <laughs> check. Give me a second. It was nice visiting. See you later. Be back soon. Um. Yeah. Oh, well. uh, we're gonna be here sometime. It seems. You know okay. what? <laughs> So, at this point, would Jeb go back to Kerbin to inform them that they need help? No, we can get out of here without the electricity, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, okay. That's definitely... I... feel very confident. I like how it's if, I was gonna be a, if I was gonna be a superhero, Jeb could come down here, dock with this thing, and lift off with it. Please do it. That sounds maneuvers. fucking baller. I am not going to be able to manage that. Um, Please that's, that's do what it. What's sounds... charge looking like? Okay. Do it, no We're going to have to basically abort and depart from here, I think, unfortunately. So, it has been oh, a wonderful sounds... lunar mission. You know, actually, we'll see what happens, actually. Do we'll it, do it, zero. do we'll it, see what do happens. It. it might still be relatively functional. Um, <laughs> I thought I'd put solar panels on this stupid thing. Apparently, I was retarded. <laughs> Do it, Rachel. Do it. Lisa and Bobby get to sit in the dark until I come over so... to help them out. Truth Seems be like told, it's still I, would, working. I would not be there. I'd be chilling back on <laughs> Earth. Okay, we have no lights. That's a problem. It's daytime right now, so that's okay. Uh, I genuinely but... thought I installed solar panels on this stupid thing. Well... So... On the moon, what comes out at night to deal with things? I mean, the ice obviously... weasels. Yes. yes, the ice weasels, obviously. <laughs> um, I mean, things are still working. That light is somehow still working. I don't know how, but it is, and um, the engine still works. So, kind of think we're okay. Uh, yeah. Listen, if you just take off now, no one ever has to know. Yeah, no, 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 it'll be, be fine, it'll be fine. We've got the RCS system as well, which is... I'm gonna tell everyone. 
RCS is still functional. So you know what? We're going to wrap this one here because this was a success. We have landed on the moon like we meant to. Obviously, yep, exactly like and we meant totally to. it totally worked. and it, We totally didn't screw up. And apparently the lights still work even though we've got no power. I'd love to know how that works, Kerbals. Are you using witchcraft? <laughs> but yes. Yes, I am. Stands, and wizardry. We will return from the moon next time, I think. And these fools that have been joining me will be there to join in the insults as I screw up once again somehow. I knew I couldn't... I was supportive! I knew I couldn't perform a successful mission and make it back in one piece. I knew something would go wrong. We we forgot the batteries. <laughs> yeah. I think the performance was you, the issue. No, I think what happened is I you didn't just even left bring the a battery. Jeb. You yeah. left them with Jeb. That's well, what happened here. I think I realized because there's two sets of solar panels on the freaking command module. Why have I got four? He's watching satellite TV up there, happy as Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he knew that was going to happen and failed to bring it up to the rest of the crew. They're all down there going, this is so cold, there's no heating, there's no lights, we're down here on a foreign <laughs> celestial body, and, and, and Jeb's watching Netflix. Yeah, yeah, he's got the hi-fi on, he's cooking something in the microwave, the kettle's going, you know, he's making well... a cup of space tea. Space uh... tea? <laughs> <laughs> I okay, guess we okay, know... okay. I guess we know why I'm the timeless one. Exactly, yeah. Um, we <laughs> are going to wrap this one up. a long, long time. Lisa and Bobby apparently now hate Bryce, so... <laughs> what? We will see you next time. <laughs> and on the successful return from the moon. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>